everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing Real Techniques, their flat foundation brush, which is the RT209. I'm also going to be reviewing the Real Techniques concealer brush, which is the RT210. RT and I have everything out of the package because I'm going, I actually already applied everything, I applied all my makeup with the brushes. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and you guys can see me apply my foundation and my concealer with these two brushes. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend foundation in the color M80, which is caramel beige. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with my finger and then kind of spread it out with the brush to see. The whole purpose of me buying the brush was so that because I don't like using my fingers when I do my makeup videos because I just feel like, I don't know, my fingers are clean, but I just it doesn't look pretty, I guess, in the videos, <laughs> even though that is how I do it. So let's see. Okay, so far it's applying good. It's not taking, because see the thing is a lot of times the sponges and certain brushes, I feel like they take more, they keep more product in the actual brush than they leave on your skin. So that was another reason that I wanted a, a flat foundation brush. Cause I notice when I watch YouTube videos and I see other people use a flat foundation brush and they apply their um, foundation, it really stays on the skin and not a lot of foundation stays on the brush. So that was my whole purpose. So now I'm gonna try to just put some foundation on the brush and see how that works. And I'm gonna apply it to the skin. It almost feels like I'm just painting my face. Like if I'm painting a wall or something. <laughs> okay, so I mean. Not too bad. I like how it's angled so it gets inside the creases of your face. And I like the fact that it does have, it's not completely flat, it does have a little bit of width here so that if you want to go like this, you know, and use it as kind of like as a brush like this, you could still do that a little bit. Obviously it's not as good as this one, like you see the difference as far as like if you want to go in with it like this. It's going to be a little different. This is definitely more of a flat brush where you're just going to apply your foundation in a flat way and then do whatever else you want to do. Like you could even go in with this brush after if you wanted to and just use this to lay down the foundation. And then like here, matter of fact, I'll use this just a little bit to show you guys and then kind of use this one to blend it out. I think that's something that I might want to do because this one is just gonna paint the face with the foundation. It's not really gonna blend it into those little corners and crevices of your face. So I feel like this one might get it more into those little spots and kind of buff everything out. But yeah. Okay. So now let's go in with the concealer. I'm excited to use the concealer brush and see how that works because I always use a blender or some kind of sponge for my concealer, but I feel like no matter what kind of sponge that I use, it keeps more of the product in the sponge than actually on my face. So let's gonna, we're gonna test it out and see if the concealer brush works better. Um, so I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer, and the color I have this in is in 35N Medium. So I think, let me just do the eyes first and then I'll do the rest of the face. Okay, so my first thoughts are, it's good. It's leaving the concealer on the skin. It's not taking the concealer away. So that's good. It's small. It feels very small, I guess, because I'm so used to 
If I do want to blend my concealer out with a brush, I'm probably used to using something a little bigger, like I'll just use my foundation brush. So it's different, but I like the fact that it's small because obviously you need something smaller on the eyes um, and it's gonna get in the little spots and different things. And it, it definitely works really well. I'm gonna show you guys this side, I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge, just, go, just so you guys can see the difference because that was like my big thing of, I wanna see if the brush is gonna be better than a sponge. So let me grab a sponge. I actually have a Real Technique sponge. It's a little dirty. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't know I was gonna be using it on camera today. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do the sponge. And let me zoom you guys in, which I probably should have done a long time ago. Sorry. Okay, so the sponge is not bad. I just, I felt like when I was applying it, the concealer brush worked a little better. But I feel like the side looks better. So I don't really know. I mean, I guess it's all, the, for me, I really don't think there's like a huge difference. So I guess it's all just pers personal preference of what you prefer. I do actually think the side looks better, unless my under eye bag just is a little bit, like discoloration or the under eye bag is a little bit worse on this side than this side. But I do think this side with the sponge looks better, but I liked applying it with the brush. So these are just the normal spots I would normally apply my concealer. I feel like around the nose and face like it doesn't really make a difference if I use this brush or if I use the sponge the brush is actually going to take a little bit longer because it's so small compared to the sponge I probably wouldn't use this brush around oh it's kind of working good during the, in this area here I probably wouldn't use this brush all over my face because it's just going to take too long but I definitely like it around the eyes and I like it around this area around my mouth because it gets into those little um, shadows or the little, like I have a little line wrinkle around it. So I think that would get in better than maybe the sponge. But then I'm gonna go in with it after with the sponge. Cause I, I mean, I have to blend it out. So you could either do like this big brush that I have from Real Techniques, which I do this sometimes. And I'll go like this and just kind of blend everything out like that which is really easy, or you can just get the sponge and go like this and blend it out. So now I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on. I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys about the brushes. All right guys, so I am back. I have the rest of my makeup on so let's go ahead and just talk about the brushes. Um, so I had a little time to kind of think about everything as I was applying my makeup and like what I thought about them. The, I, act, I, I love both of them. I mean, I don't think there's one real technique brush that I've tried that I said I don't like. I use, um, I have another video that I did on their whole $20 kit set, which comes with like the blush brush, uh, crease brush, a highlighter, or or you could use it as setting powder brush. And it also comes with, I don't know, another brush. I can't think, I think, off the top of my head right now. But anyways, I'll link that video below. But I haven't tried one Real Technique brush that I just am like, oh no, I don't like it. I like all their brushes, so. But first off, uh, the foundation brush. I love this because now I don't have to I put my foundation on my fingers and then put it on my face. I can put it, I like when I did it like this and I put it on my brush and then applied it to my skin and kind of just basically painted my skin with the brush. Lay down my foundation with this flat brush is I would just use this, uh, this, sorry, I can't think of that. <laughs> this Real Techniques RT200 brush. I would just use this one to buff out the foundation and make everything look like blended and look good. Or, you know, you could go in with a sponge. It doesn't have to be Real Techniques, any kind. I just prefer the brush, I feel like it's easier, quicker. 
And then, um, so yeah, definitely love this. And it gets in. I love the angle because it really gets into those little like creases, crease areas around the nose, around the mouth. Um, if you did want to apply your foundation close to your eyes, it's going to get in through all those creases. You can kind of, since it's got the angle, you could kind of edge it out around here so it doesn't get in your actual hair. So absolutely love this one. The concealer brush, this one was great. I wasn't sure, like, just like looking at it online, I wasn't sure. It looked kind of small and it didn't look like very, I guess you could say like, it looked loose, the bristles. But no, they... It's perfect. It applied my concealer really good. You could see, like, I actually applied the concealer to this eye with the brush and then to this eye with the sponge. And I don't know if you can really tell the difference. I think they both look good. But, yeah, I definitely like the using the brush as opposed to using the sponge because I just felt like it was really doing a good job covering everything up and I could get it where I wanted it. Because sometimes I feel like the sponge, like I said, it absorbs a lot of the product, like foundation or concealer. It absorbs a lot of the product and then it, a lot of that product doesn't stay on my skin. Even though I did use the sponge and it looks fine, I just feel like with the concealer brush, I get it into those spots where I feel like I need concealer more, where I have maybe discoloration under my eyes or just maybe that indention of where you can see the under eye bag, I feel like it, I can work with it better with the brush. So, but yeah, I definitely love both of them. So definitely check it out. These are, I went and grabbed all the rest of my brushes. So this is, and like I said, I'll have the video link, the link for the video that I did on this review below. This is the crease brush. This is a highlighter brush, which you could use for setting powder. And this is the foundation brush I've been talking about this whole video. And this is a blush brush, which I use the blush brush today um, to put my blush on. And it almost is kind of confusing because it looks really big and you're like, I don't know. No, it's great. It just, it does a really good job. So, so yeah, so the, and these, and now I have these now. Really great brushes. You guys have to check them out. Real Techniques are, is a wonderful company. Uh, so anyways, guys, this is it. Wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine and if you're new to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button below so um you always know when i post a new video love you guys and i'll see everyone very soon in my next video bye